Hi everybody, this is Leah of CJ Drill. Now you may be wondering what you're looking at, and I gotta tell you, you've seen it a million and one times. What we have here is a water supply line, that's what this is. And you see these attached to toilets, they feed the water up to a toilet, or you see them attached to a kitchen sink or bathroom sink faucet. This is the copper pipe. And today's video subject has to do with which water supply valve is best. So here's the thing, one of our viewers wrote in wanted to know which one was best, the compression fitting or the push fit. And really there's pros and cons to both of these valves and I'm going to show you the differences right now. Now what I've done is I've installed a compression valve, that's what this is here. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below in the event you want to know how to install one properly. But for now what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the water supply line. That's what this is. I'm going to loosen that nut and then I'm going to swing the water supply line out of the way so we can get a good look at what's going on here. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're just, I'm just going to loosen this nut. That's called the compression nut. Now the advantage to a compression valve is you only need a few tools. If you've got a couple wrenches, you're in good shape. The other thing about a compression style valve is it's inexpensive. It's probably half the price of a push fit. Okay, so we're just going to take that off. Now here's the other thing. This is a big difference between the push fit and the compression. It's this ring right here, and it's called a ferrule. And this ferrule really is responsible for creating the watertight seal. This nut kind of clamps down on that ferrule and creates that seal, right? Well, when you're taking out an old compression fitting, this ferrule, it gets stuck and it doesn't always come off easy. Now this is this is new so it's going to slide right off but you may not have that same luck. You may need this tool here and this is a ferrule puller. This is our push fit valve and it has just a tremendous advantage and what it is is you don't need any tools to put it on but you need a tool to remove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's put on and then I'm going to remove one for you. Now all you have to do is, guess what, is just push. It's on. It's installed. All you would have to do next is uh, hook up your water supply line and guess what, you would be good to go. Nothing is quicker than that, but you have to keep in mind that with this particular valve, it's going to cost you twice as much as the compression style valve. Now here's the thing about push fits. They're easy to install. You don't need any tools really. But the difficulty comes in if you have to remove it because you can't pull it off unless you have this tool here. So if you're going to remove one of these push fits, guess what? You're going to need this tool here and it's an additional expense. Okay, so let me show you how this thing works. You just take it and snap it underneath the pipe and below the valve. That's what this is. This is our valve here. Now the problem comes into play when you don't have enough finger space because you've got to get your two fingers behind this tool to pull off the valve. So if you don't have enough space between the valve and the wall and the tool to get your fingers behind, guess what? You're not going to be able to take this valve off. So if you're going to use a push fit, just make certain that you have enough distance between the valve and the wall to use this tool. Now I'm going to show you how the tool is used. So it's really easy. As, it, as I said before, you just have to make certain that you snap it underneath the pipe get your two fingers behind it and then you just pull and it comes right off. So in closing here's the thing your push fit it's pretty doggone quick isn't it? But if you need to pull it you need that special tool and it's gonna cost you twice as much as this guy here. You can install this it's gonna take a little bit more time but chances are you're gonna have the tools around the house that you need to install it and if you need to take it off you'll have the tool you need to remove it. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.